Okay, so um, I've, I've actually reread your question and, and sort of looked at this, and it took me a while to get all set back up because I haven't, I haven't actually done one of these in a while, and uh, frankly, I wasn't, I haven't, I wasn't prepared, so I had to, I had to pull this board out. Um, I, I don't have the 32 channel AI, but I do have the, the, uh, the 1642, but I think it's going to translate okay. So what, what we're talking about here is uh, how to get panning to work. So um, first of all, I'm going to discuss how you can how to do it in the DAW using the two-track input. So if you look over here at the the uh, 1642 board, here is my two-track in, um, and it's listed as tape, or you've also got the um, the FireWire enable button there. So back over here in the software, if we pull up the input output. You'll see on the first of all the inputs we've got our inputs mapped one to one. There are 24 you know inputs on this board. You know it's a 16 channel board. It shows 24 inputs, uh, and I've got them mapped one to one. But that's really neither here nor there. Um, in the output section, you'll see we've got 16 outputs, and then you've got the tape. This is our the the line in. Uh, it's kind of truncated there, so you can't really read it, but so I've got uh, Studio Live, something in left, and I think that's a two track in left and two track in right. So, and that's I've just assigned that to the main output, and you'll see left is there, right is there, and that's how I've set this audio up. So uh, the only output, so I'm not outputting uh, anything to these 16 channels. I'm only outputting to the two track stereo or the two the two stereo outputs, so uh, left and right. So, uh, all of these, if you look at all of the inputs there, everything is assigned uh, in the way they've got this particular song set up. And I mean, you could do something similar to this. So they're sending like all the drums to a drum bus, right? So if you were to look at the, uh, at the outputs here, um, let me turn the inputs off, or uh, what, let me see, external. Uh, let's just look at the outputs. I'll have to scroll over. Yeah, so these are all the outputs. So if you look at these, uh, you'll see all of these are assigned to a drum bus. The this impact here is a snare sample is assigned to a main out. These are all the drum bus channels, right? So I can actually uh, hide these tracks. And did it hide them there? Yes. And then percussion, I can hide those as well. And then the bass. Hide these keys. Uh, I'm going to keep the guitars up. I'm going to select all of these and hide them. So I've got some. I've got a loop set up right here, and I've got actually the guitar um, channel is soloed, right? So, uh, and I've, what it is is the guitar bust that I've soloed. So it's muted everything else, and I'm doing this for a purpose because I want to show you how. Um, basically, if if we play this back, and I'm gonna just go up here to the spot where I've got guitar. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this main output. You'll be able to see. Uh, I think it shows here. Let's see. Yeah. So you see the both left and right input, right? So. So what I'm going to do is actually pan this guitar by pulling this to the left. Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong one. I'm sorry. So this is all panned to the left, and you can see that change here. So, and and actually. Um, you, you can't tell probably from this audio because the, the audio that I'm recording is actually my voice and it's it's um, it's mono so but that is now all panned left I'm hearing that out of my left speaker uh, and if you look at the studio one board you'll see here if I turn this up you'll see that this is all coming out of the left hand side now I haven't done anything on here I'm just controlling the volume with the slider here but you'll see this is all left 
I go back to the software and pan this back to the right, you'll see it, it starts coming in on the right channel. And then I'll drag this to the left. I can get it to go all the way. There we go. So now you'll see it's all it's panned all the way to the right, and I am in fact hearing it from the right uh, speaker in my studio here. So, uh, so that's all there is to that. Again, that's my preferred method of doing it. Uh, lots of folks do it different ways, like do live mix downs and stuff like that. Uh, I don't particularly um, think that's a, it's not a good method for me. I won't say that's good or bad. Uh, it's all personal preference. But um, anyways, that's, that's my approach and that's how I would do it. I hope this is helpful. Um, please let me know if, uh, if you need anything else. Bye.